welcome. <laughs> Drifting in now. <laughs> welcome to today's video. Um, today we will be reviewing and discussing Oliver and Company. Charles Dickens, Oliver Twist, is that right? Yeah, that is right. Yeah. Um, so far removed though. Yeah, again, it's like <laughs> you're watching it expecting kind of an Oliver Twist kind of thing, but to be honest, it's like more a Dickens inspired Disney is probably a better way to describe it. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, there's a kitten called Oliver in a box for kittens for free. Um, clearly been abandoned there. Um, he is the one kitten that isn't bought. Yeah. Um, which really just makes me hate New Yorkers that little bit more because if there was a kitten in a box. It's because he's ginger. Even though my girlfriend's insanely allergic, I would be bringing that kitten home for the detriment of my girlfriend's health. Yeah, I would die. <laughs> but the kitten wouldn't, which is more important. Wow. Um, and so the kitten grows up a street cat, um, a little bit like Aladdin. Um, <laughs> And um, gets adopted by a group of streetwise dogs um, that do heists for their human owner. Fagin! Who um, owes a loan shark. Bill Sykes. A lot of money. So um, Fagin gets these dogs to rob for him. Um, they rob a rich person's house. Called Jenny. With a poodle called. Georgette. And a butler called. Sorry, I've ruined your streak. Yeah, no, my brain is... um Al... Oh, God, what is he called? Alfred? No. That's Batman. That's Batman. Um, I'll leave you with that. It's something like that, because Georgette, like, screams it. Bear, bear with while I'm definitely not Googling this right now. So, Oliver and this uh, company of dogs led by the... Dodger. Artful Dodger. <laughs> Um, Look, it's all gone to crap now, Luke. <laughs> so, um, Oliver and the Dodger and his various dogs, we won't list their names, don't worry. Um, um, Einstein, Francis, Tito, and then the lady dog. <laughs> the lady dog, yeah. Feminism's rife in this review. Um, they rob the rich. Rita. <laughs> <laughs> they rob the rich people's house, um, but then Oliver gets left behind. Ends up getting adopted by the rich family. The dogs feel like they need to steal him back, worried that he's been kidnapped by some angry rich people. Um, but well, he's actually having a wonderful yeah. life. They steal him back uh, with the help of the poodle that doesn't want him there. Um, and yeah, it's kind of like a mix and match of mistaken identities. Where do you belong? Um, yeah, it's kind of, it's quite a nice little story, I guess. Um, very dark ages in the fact that it's, I'm just keeping this review going now. Yeah, really I can't busy. find his name. Um, <laughs> like, um, as far as... Winston! Dark... It's Winston! <laughs> there you go, Winston. I'd like to point out, he is like so far down on the cast list. He is like at the bottom and when you just pull it up with like the cast of voice actors, doesn't even mention Winston. <laughs> We are now no longer reviewing the film, but reviewing the Wikipedia entry for the film. That's how um, low <laughs> our standards are. <laughs> Look, we're on like day 20 now, okay? You can't be some slack here. <laughs> I think the film's fine. Um, characters worth talking about. I think I could limit down to the Artful Dodger, who... Voiced by Billy Joel. His only, as of 2017, voice acting credit. Yeah. Um, it's for Billy Joel, just... Billy Joel in dog format. He um, does loads of parkour, sings catchy musical numbers throughout the streets of New York. Definitely, if that was a real dog, would be dead from the parkour that he does. Like, sorry, no. My, my, I've got a dog. He's not that athletic. And he's like a collie who is like supposedly a really athletic dog. He couldn't do that shit. Yeah, but the Artful Dodge is a fun character. Um, other characters worth mentioning, um, the Poodle. Georgette, yeah. Yeah, Georgette's quite fun. I like Georgette. She has a great song. Um, Georgette is basically an ex-pageant dog that just hasn't really got over her glory days. <laughs> I, I relate a lot to Georgette. Georgette is me in about like 10 years time, everyone. Yeah. Um, what I think is interesting is um, just the fact the humans mesh in with the story quite well. Yeah. I know in Rescuers they did, but... Well, in Rescuers they did and they didn't because it's only the kids that can hear the and understand animals yeah which i'm presuming that in the rescuers universe as you grow older you just lose that ability yeah 
I don't know if it's, it's interesting or just like you said, Disney just aren't explaining it and they're just rolling with whatever makes story makes sense. So um, Sykes is no, not Sykes. Fagin has trained the dogs to steal stuff so he can pay back Sykes, and then yes. you've got a very human villain in Sykes. Um, Sykes is up there with like the Horned King and Madame He's Medusa. Quite the... scary. Yeah, but um, but then Bill Sykes and the original source material was. Yeah, I don't necessarily have a problem with Bill Sykes. I mean, out of all the Dark Ages villain, I think I can only really say he loses out to Rattigan. But um, he's kind of also like a middling villain. You're not going to remember him. He kind of just fills a hole. Um, it's almost like the story of... Yeah, it's a... not really about him, is it? Yeah, it's kind of like he's just there. So this story about this cat choosing where to live has a kick to the end, which is fine. It has, like, a cool Oh, also carcass. he, like, totally threatens to kill the cat. Yeah. Um, again, makes perfect sense as a story, but in a Disney film, do you want cats being threatened? Well, their whole plan is basically, like, they adopt Oliver. Um, again, in this, people can't understand animals. Yeah. It's just the animals talk to each other, which is perfectly logical. Um, and then... Oliver comes back after being taken in by Jenny. He's got a collar and everything. So basically Jenny adopts him after a heist gone wrong. Mm. Um, and then they need to pay money back to Bill Sykes. So Fagin's plan is basically we'll steal the cat. But obviously they haven't stolen the cat. The cat's just come back home. Mm. Um, but they send a ransom letter out to Jenny, not realising that who is going to show up as the owner of the cat is a 10-year-old girl. They think it's going to be like a wealthy man. Mm-hmm. Um, like basically Jenny's parents would show up but Jenny's parents aren't actually in it and then Fagin doesn't really have the heart to go through with extorting a quite the money interesting out of a 10 year old girl because he's a man that you like you assume that he's been set up as a villain of the piece because he's getting these drugs to do bad things but actually has quite a lot of depth and at the end he shows heart he's just a very desperate man which I think is what Dickens is all about really well hang on let's talk about the actual Fagin <laughs> Like, he's a villain, as far as I'm concerned. I meant more like just Dickens, Dickensian in, um, like, general... Not like, desperate like, people doing desperate things. Yeah. Um, again, though, Disney just take it and do what they want. They decided that their version of the story needed Fagin to be a nicer character. You have a lot of sympathy for Fagin because it's kind of like, yes, it's probably his fault that he got into this situation, but then he's doing like everything he can to get out of it and he's just digging himself into a deeper hole. Mm. In many ways, the human characters drive the story and the animals kind of just add flavour to it. I think um, Oliver and Company is quite a middling Disney for me and it just depends about how much you buy into the comedy of the dog characters. Like, do you find the little Spanish chihuahua funny? Yes. Uh, um, yeah. Do you find the Shakespearean bulldog funny? Uh, do you find the um, diva poodle funny? Do you find Dodger's cockiness funny? Like, Oh, right, okay, Dodger's an absolute dick. Which I only realised re-watching this. Like, as a kid, I was like, oh, Dodger's great. I'd love to have a dog like Dodger. He is an absolute dick. Like, Oliver gets adopted. Is he happy for him? No. Is he like, you're turning your back on us after I brought you in? and Which he doesn't even do. He enlists Oliver's help to help steal some sausages, tells Oliver that he's going to give him a sausage, then runs off with them and is basically like, bye. And then when Oliver follows him, he's like, oh yeah, this was my plan all along. It's like, no, it wasn't. You didn't care if that cat got run over. Well, yeah, but I think, to be honest, that only looks weird in the Disney. I think if this wasn't a Disney, that would be a logical story point. I think the Dodger's just um, a street dog and doesn't have any um, loyalty to... Well, he has loyalty to, like, Fagin. He's owner, but that's dogs. Yeah. It's just, I don't... If he's not as... I just... I was really disappointed in his character when I rewatched it. Okay. Anything else to say about Oliver and Company? No. Fun fact? Um, fun fact is that there is a hidden Mickey in this film, or not so hidden, depending on how observant you are. So Fagin has stolen lots of watches, and one of those watches is a Mickey Mouse watch. Um, right. Uh, you know what? I'd, is Oliver and Company a bad film? No, it's kind of a little bit like Basil the Great Mouse Detective. I can't say I disliked it, um, but at the same time, I think 
if you had to write a list of all of the Disneys now, from the top of your head, Olive and Company be one of the ones you'd forget about. It's not even so bad, it's memorable, like the Black Cauldron. Mm. Um, I, I'm going to give it a four. Um, yeah, I'm going to give it a four as well. Okay. Um, and that is the end of the Dark Ages. So films are going to start looking up now. Um, as we enter the Renaissance period, which is like my period of disney this and the modern era when i got back into disney as a teen are like my disney so i think um it's an era that everyone's quite um knowing about but we'll we'll talk about that tomorrow so yes. um hold your horses um do you want to take the ending oh we can do it together okay we're, have we're a, coming out of the dark ages now have a, a magical, magical rest, rest of, of your, your day, day.